everyone, a very warm welcome to my channel and to a healthy New Year inspired grocery haul. I hope you are all really well and had a nice peaceful Christmas. I am ready now to move on from Christmas, she says, with a Christmas tree in the background. But I feel like I'm ready to just reset and start the new year. So I popped to Sainsbury's this week. The shelves were pretty bare. The supermarket was lovely. It was virtually empty of people. I'm sorry about the noise. My children are home, school holidays. They're playing games in the other room and they are so noisy. So yeah, I went to Sainsbury's. I didn't find it that easy to find what I was looking for because most of the shelves were full of mince pies and pigs in blankets that were reduced to 24 pence. There was literally hundreds of packets so yeah I wasn't in the market for either of those but I have bought a few days worth of food because we've got New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. New Year's Eve we're having a takeaway and New Year's Day I'm doing like a New Year's Day dinner. I've also bought quite a few organic products that's just for my own personal circumstances because I am about to have surgery for breast cancer and I feel like eating a lot of organic foods is good for me personally. So that's why there's a lot of organic products in this shop. Uh, I should also say that I'm on Slimming World and so I will talk about Sims and healthy extras where I can. Please do check these for yourself because I can get things wrong. So is that everything? I think that's everything. Let's get into the haul. So I'm really sorry about the lighting. It's just awful. It's only 3.30 but it is so, so dark outside and rainy and yeah it's just really unpleasant so I've got all the lights on and I'll try and minimize the glare as much as I can so I'll start here I've got some of this wild fish yellow fin tuna my husband and I are going to have one of these each tomorrow night for dinner I'm just going to like sear them basically and I'll have mine with vegetables some roasted cauliflower stuff like that and my husband will have vegetables and some kind of frozen potato. I don't know, there's chips, there's waffles, there's all sorts in the freezer. So, um, And then when we have those tomorrow, the kids are going to have codfish fingers. These are three pounds at the moment in Sainsbury's. I've got some passata. I've got some Yakult. So I've got two packets of these. I know these are expensive, but I'm having my surgery next week. And I just thought it can't hurt really just to bolster us up a little bit. These are two sins each on Slimming Worlds. I think the light ones are one and a half sins each and we always have the original ones and yeah they're about £3.25 a pack I think so they aren't cheap but I'm happy to spend that at the moment. I've got some organic pink lady apples I'm really enjoying these I've got some 100% um, peanuts peanut butter in the cupboard so I've been having a little spoon of that with uh, one of these sliced up and it's really really nice got some baby leaf spinach i really like this just wilted i put it with um peppers avocado chili flakes in an omelet and it's really really good i've got two organic semi-skim milks basically they had no milk they had no normal milk they only had organic and um we need to make sure we've got enough to get us through sort of the first week next week because obviously of my surgery and things so i've got two of those and some organic kiwis these are ready to eat they're so delicious i got these week before last and yeah so good my five-year-old really enjoys them too so he shares them with me some baby corn some tender stem broccoli really i mean the vegetables were really limited obviously i don't think they've had well they won't have had any delivery since before christmas so yeah i wasn't too um overflowing with the vegetables and um, some spirali pasta and some fusilli pasta the whole wheat fusilli pasta i got some bananas i got two tins of organic chopped tomatoes some peppers some pomegranate seeds i'm absolutely loving these at the moment and yeah really nice sort of with fruit and a bit of yogurt some vittoria cherry vine tomatoes I'm sure you know me by now. I absolutely love a good tomato and these are really, really good. I've got some organic sweet corn, two boxes of local eggs. I've got some King's Mill 50-50, some cheese top rolls for my husband and some organic, hopefully unwaxed lemons. Yep, I'm going through so many lemons at the moment. I'm just drinking lemon, hot lemon water every morning and also I preserve my avocados with lemon juice and some clipper organic pure green tea 
This looked like the best of the bunch on the reviews online. Never tried it before. I don't really like green tea, but I'm reading a lot of very positive studies and information around sort of cancer and green tea. So I thought I'd give it a go. And what I might do is put some lemon slices in it or something and see if that helps to jazz it up a bit. I don't know. I saw another recipe online as well for um, green tea with some blitzed up mango. So I thought I would just get it and I'll play around with that. I got some ground turmeric or turmeric. I never know how to say this. And some ground black pepper. So the idea of this is I understand, and I could be wrong because I'm no nutritionist, but that you have bl uh, some black pepper with the turmeric to help absorb the goodness from it or something. I need to do a lot more research. And that's what I'm going to do. But I thought I would just get them in anyway. And besides, my husband loves ground black pepper. So even if the two don't go together, I will still be able to use them. I've got a big bag of corn. I think this is about £2.95. I just love these pieces. They're sin-free on Simming World. And they just take on the flavours that you add to them. And I just like to put them with a big salad. And yes, yeah, so I've got the big bag because I just love them. I've got some of this caramelised biscuit popcorn for New Year's Eve. I think we're planning on having a bit of a chill out night watching sing sing to something like that um so i thought this sounded really good it's obviously in the christmas range it's not reduced or anything or well, certainly that wasn't today anyway and i think when i scanned this it's six sins for 25 grams so it's really to be honest really quite high on the sins because this bag is 80 grams so yeah it's not a healthy choice at all but still sounds good I got some frozen mango, not really sure why, but I think I'm just going to add it to yogurt here and there for like a bit of a sweet boost. I've got some whole grain malties, these are for the kids. Um, you can have 40 grams of these as a healthy extra B choice on Slimming World. I've got some Prosecco, so this is going to be for New Year's Day. We're doing a bit of a New Year's Day dinner, and so we've got the Prosecco. I think this was £7.50. I've got some of this. Lucy B Extra Virgin Organic Raw Coconut Oil. It's a massive jar. I think this was about £5.50, something like that. But it's huge. It will last absolutely ages. Two sins for a teaspoon. Plan to just use this to make sort of sweet omelettes and things. And I'm just loving stocking up on my healthier fats and oils at the moment. And yeah, so I thought I would just give this one a go. I got some Outpro plain with coconut soy yogurt I think it's soy yogurt and I'm not going fully plant-based but I am trying different plant-based options and this just sounded really good now this is half a sin per 100 grams and there's 500 grams in this pot so two and a half sins for the pot just thought it might be nice with some fruit here and there got some Ritz biscuits these are, these are for my husband if you want them on Slimming World they're one sin per biscuit Got some Chicago Town deep dish four cheese pizzas. These are just for the kids. Um, well, I have, have got a couple of these in the freezer actually, but just for while I'm having surgery, I just want to make sure that there are some freezer options. Um, I've got two pots of this Hartley sugar-free jelly. I know it's not very healthy, but the kids absolutely love it. And so I got them one each for their pudding tonight. I've got some of these Crazy Jack organic mixed almonds. I don't know specifically what the details, Hesuing World details are on these particular ones, but generally speaking, you can have 20 almonds for a healthy extra B choice, which I have been having quite frequently. So I've just got an airtight jar and I'll just fill it up with, with these, top it back up. I've got some Pano Chocolate. These are for Harry, really. He's the only one who really eats them. I think they're about 10 sins on Hesuing World. Um, some Ambrosia Devon Custard. This is for New Year's Day dinner for pudding. I've got some Alpro Almond No Sugars plant-based milk. And I'm just giving it a go. I'm just trying it out really, just to see whether I get along with it. I also got an Almond Breeze one because this is a pound. This is the longer life one. Um, I just wanted to try the brands out really because I've never really been one for trying the plant-based milks. So yeah, that's what they're for. Got some organic mature cheddar. 30 grams of this is a healthy extra A choice on Slimming World. I've got some Kenko Americano decaf because I really like decaf um, instant. This is battered, so it was down to 
£2.34 instead of £3.50, but it's all fully sealed and everything, so I thought that was a little bargain of the day. I've got some low-fat yellow fruit yogurts. These are for my husband. He loves these. They're three sins a pot on Slimming World. Over here, I've got some salted caramel flavour meringues dipped in dark chocolate. How nice do they sound? They're a really good size meringue. Um, they are 59 calories per shell or three sins each on Slimming World. It does say they're a new autumn edition, but obviously it is winter now, so <laughs> there's one that's a bit smashed in there. But yeah, I thought they just sounded really nice. I just thought for a sweet treat here and there, they've obviously got a really long date on, they got to May 23, so I thought that would just be a nice little extra treat when we fancy them. Some Colgate, I've got a Batiste cherry dry shampoo. I can't wash my hair when I come out of hospital because I need to keep my wound dry so i'm going to be relying a lot on my batiste i've got some palm olive um hand wash did i say that i don't even know if i've just said that i'm losing my mind today um two of those i think they were a pound each and then i got some maui shampoo this is down to four pound fifty at the moment which is a good price for maui and i've got the bamboo fibers one which is for dry um fine hair which mine is very fine at the moment so yeah that is everything that i've bought from sainsbury's today so that was everything that i've bought for the next few days some bits will last a lot longer some bits i will need to top up on like i say i didn't need a huge amount of meals we have got new year's eve and new year's day so that kind of breaks it up a bit but we've got plenty in the freezer and we've still got stuff in the fridge you know salad and things that we're working our way through so i didn't need loads of meals that's why this shop wasn't full of obvious um meals but yeah so thank you as always so so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye guys